I think everybody can imagine a, a family on a road trip uh, with little kids in the back seat. Uh, and after a while, little kids start to say, are we there yet? Are we there yet? And um, the little kids don't understand that although they've been driving a long time and uh, they want to get to their destination, that uh, the miles that they've done so far are not enough to get there. They're not sufficient. But every one of those miles is necessary. <laughs> it's a part of the trip. And uh, if you if you don't travel over those miles, you won't get to where you're going. Uh, so when we hear that phrase, uh, "Are we there yet?" You know, are that that's like an example of impatience, I suppose. Uh, that's the most common thing that we think of. But um, <clears throat> it's it's also an interesting model of something uh, that can be called burnout. And here's what I mean by that. Uh, there are many people who work in organizations, for example, nonprofit organizations who are working for a good cause and possibly working to bring about a change in society uh, who come in to work for years. And the change that they want, the change that they are hoping for, uh, doesn't happen. You know, change is, is slow, often in society. And um, uh, that's a circumstance under which people often burn out. They, uh, they don't see that their efforts are being fulfilled, that their intentions are being uh, realized. Uh, and they're working hard, and it goes on and on. And they may uh, they may quit. We often lose people from good uh, causes, good social change causes, because it's just so frustrating to work for a long time without uh, the hoped for change occurring. When the change occurs, interestingly, it, it often happens fast. Uh, an example is how um, uh, just a few years ago, state after state in the United States uh, approved uh, marriage equality, <clears throat> changes in the law that um, uh, allowed same-sex same couples to be uh, married for real under the law. And um, <clears throat> that was a cause that many people had worked on for years and years and years. And who had those people had experienced the frustration of doing that work and not seeing a result right away, sometimes not in a person's lifetime. Uh, but then suddenly it happened. Uh, a tipping point was reached where that change became a part of the culture and uh, uh, something that was written into the law. So, um, the little kid saying, are we there yet? And uh, the worker for a nonprofit organization getting frustrated because the change never comes, they're, they're structurally kind of similar. And um, yes, this these are examples of impatience, but I, I, I think it's a good model for some uh, kinds of burnout. Um, it's good to remind that uh, social change worker in the nonprofit that their efforts uh, may not have been sufficient yet, but they are necessary. That they are part of the sort of the, the process that eventually leads to the change. So um, I think often in our thinking, uh, we may be making that kind of confusion between necessary and sufficient, that we may feel that our efforts don't have value because they're not sufficient, when in fact they do have value because they're necessary. Something to think about.